Well, new details just in this morning after a woman was found dead at a home on Strother Public School grounds. That gruesome discovery made Sunday night, and this morning, three days later, students are heading back to class. Yeah, KOCO's Kylie Walker joins us live at the FBI's OKC office after they joined this investigation. And Kylie, you have new details about the victim and the suspect. Yeah, Jason Shelby, good morning. The Seminole Nation Light Horse Police Department has identified the victim in this case as Kim Switch. And they say that the shooting suspect is in custody. And some more details from the police department this morning. They say that they responded to a shooting just before 11 p.m. on Sunday and found the shooting suspect. And right now, KOCO, we're not identifying that suspect as he has not been formally charged. He was detained, however, and he faces a first degree murder charge. Now tonight, Strother Public Schools will have an emergency board meeting starting at 6 p.m. The district at this time, they have not released an agenda or any details about this emergency meeting, but we do know that this is the first day of school for students there in the Strother Public Schools district after a few days off following this incident. And we do know that they are going to have grief counselors available for students and staff today and in the next coming week. Weeks. For now, extracurricular activities, all after school activities have been canceled for the remainder of the week. Reporting live, Kylie Walker, KOCO 5 News.